also got the jersey by one second. One measly second. That was a lot of work. Uh, honestly, I I just battled over that climb to try and get across to Jay and Yatesy. And honestly, it was from there, it was just a battle. Uh, I was hoping Yatesy wouldn't attack um, at any point because he was sitting on, and I was a little bit worried about that. So, uh, all works all well to ends well. You spoke this morning about the prospect of something happening on that hill. Local knowledge was a big advantage. Yeah, uh, I didn't expect it to go to the line, so I was glad I was a part of that. Uh, but yeah, I, I thought, okay, it was always going to be hard over that climb. A uh, bit of a tricky run in as well, so it always makes it hard for a team to control it. And with guys like Jay and Yates here, it's always a worry what they'll do on climb. So a bit of a... Uh, not a lucky guess, but pretty obvious what was going to happen. I'd say it was an educated guess. Michael Matthews was out the back with a mechanical problem. You had Simon Yates sitting on the group with you. What was the communication with Simon? Uh, we knew he wasn't going to work. Uh, obviously, it's unfortunate that we didn't get to really, really test ourselves against bling and, and whatnot. It's, it's never nice to obviously take time off of someone through a mechanical, but you have to take your chances when you get them. And uh, Yeah. I was just glad that we got to the line and, and yeah, he actually helped us in the last 5k, thank Christ. As a South Australian and somebody who has won this race before, what does the race mean to you? Uh, it was my first World Tour race I did. Uh, it, it really did help me get into the pro ranks and, and it's helped a lot of young Aussies do the same. So we've got a lot to give back to this race and I'm, I'm pretty proud to wear that jersey tomorrow. Now it's time to defend. <laughs> yeah, corkscrew. Let's see, what, let's see what happens.